Now to a two investigation, an 11th lawsuit filed against Chicago police today over a wrong rate. A family says police busted down their door, even pointed guns at a woman holding a baby. I kept saying, I have a baby, I have a baby. And it was like he wasn't listening. So even with her in your hands, you still had that gun pointed at both of you? Yes. To investigator Dave Savini broke the story last month after the August raid. The man officers were looking for, well, he moved away years earlier. An attorney for the family says their constitutional rights were violated. Chicago police won't comment on pending lawsuits and denied our request for video from police body cameras. Superintendent, though, Eddie Johnson has denied repeated requests to sit down with CBS2 investigators about wrong raids, but he did talk with WVON 1690 AM, where he was asked about the mistakes. To investigator Megan Hickey fact checks his claims. Superintendent Eddie Johnson initially told CBS2 investigators that CPD tracked the number of wrong raids. Yeah, well, I misspoke, so city law tracks those for us. Then last night, he told WVON's Kimberly E. Gowen and Matt McGill that of the approximately 7,000 search warrants executed since 2016, 300 were reported as problematic. The city law department was able to verify that probably 30 of them, the, the, the complainants, were correct. You know, so that's less than 1%. The problem is, the law department has already told us that that number, around 30, is wrong. That's just the number of claims they received for any property damage complaints from any police-related incidents or, quote, police practices claims. And they can't give us a firm number of wrong raids because they don't actually track it. We have to check, double-check, and triple-check before we actually execute the warrant. That's another point that the CBS2 investigators take issue with because in several of these cases, including the Blassen games... I won't forget it. The CBS2 investigators were able to verify, without access to police databases, that the target of the raid wasn't in the home. He was 200 miles away in prison serving a murder sentence. We're still waiting on FOIA requests for all search warrant data and body camera videos that could show us what happened during those wrong raids. In the meantime, the victims and Johnson can agree on one thing. Little kids should not have a gun pointed in their face. They just shouldn't. Now, Johnson did say that one bad raid is one too many. In April, we requested all the search warrant data, but were given insufficient records. We've appealed with the Attorney General's office. Live in the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators. Thank you, Megan.